Okay. Hasty generalizations are always tempting to travelers, and now and then they strike out vivid truths that the observer loses sight of after closer scrutiny. But nine times out of ten, they hit wild. Some years before the war, a French journalist produced a thoughtful book on the United States. Of course, he laid great stress on our universal hustle for the dollar. To do that is to follow the line of least resistance in writing about America. You have only to copy what all the other travelers have said. This particular author had the French gift of consecutive reasoning and had been trained in the school of Taine, which requires the historian to illustrate each of his general conclusions by an impressive array of specific instances. Therefore, we in, when he had laid down the principles that every America's ruling passion is money-making, he cast about for an instance and found a striking one. Pause. So dominant, he suggested, is this passion that it is cultivated and intellectual Boston, the Athens of America, which possesses a beautiful cemetery in its peaceful park-like suburbs. The millionaire money markers, unwilling to abandon the quarter in which their most active hours have been spent, have created for themselves a burying ground in the center of the business district on which they can look down from their lofty office windows till they are laid there to rest in the familiar noise and bustle that they love. This literary example of the ruling passion strong in death seems to establish once for all the good old truth that the American cares only for money-making, and it was clever of the critic to find his instance in Boston instead of Pittsburgh or Chicago. But unfortunately, the cemetery for which the Boston millionaire is supposed to have abandoned the green glades of Mount Auburn is the old pre-revolutionary graveyard of King's Chapel, in which no one has been buried since modern Boston began to exist, and about which a new business district has grown up, as it has about similar carefully guarded relics in all our expanding cities and in many European ones as well.